All right. So you might have read the published report over the weekend that Safe Place has been extremely busy this year. We talked about that a couple of months ago with Jennifer Fatma, and now the fallout is being recognized, and she's back with us today to talk about that. Good morning. Good morning. Boy, we wish this was uh, something better to talk about than this. It's now, because you've been so busy, a dire financial situation. Yes. About three years ago, we had a lot of financial cuts. Um, and so at that time, the Community Foundation said, you know, gave us a gift and said, you know, take your time, figure out how you're going to do this. We had to lay some people off. We thought through everything. Everybody raised their hand because the staff are there because they care so much and said, I'll take on more. Hmm. So everybody took on a little bit more. We said, we can do this. But what we didn't anticipate was that over the next three years, we would not only stay busy, but we would get busier. In fact, over the last three years, our nights of shelter have increased by 84%. Oh my God. So while our staffing was down 9%, and and that's like 13 people, a little under 14 people. Wow. With an 84% increase in nights of shelter. So just swamped. Our crisis calls increased by 73% during that same time. And so, you know, everybody was doing not just their fair share and a little more, but we've just been overwhelmed with the amount of work that we've had to do. And that's not only increased our costs, but it's prevented us from doing the work of fundraising. Mm -hmm. What accounts for this? This almost sounds like the merely the perfect storm here. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's um, it's terrible for us in terms of the financial stress it's putting on us sure. and, and how busy our staff have been. But overall, it's kind of a good sign. Um, what it means is that uh, the partnership with our law enforcement agencies, with the community, the word is out. I don't think domestic violence has increased 84% over Got the it. last three years. Mm -hmm. I think what's happening is people are recognizing it, especially our partners in law enforcement. I mean, they really have come on board and said every single law enforcement agency, in fact, in Calhoun County has said, uh, train us. And we are going to go out, and if we recognize it, we're going to call them right from the scene. So it, what that means, unfortunately, though, is that we're only going to continue to get busier and busier. But I think, like I said, in some ways, it's a good sign because it means more people are reaching out and getting help because we know that we can keep people safe if they contact us. We know that we can help them stay safe. I shouldn't say keep them safe. Mm -hmm. We don't control the assailant. But we can certainly help them create safety plans and connect them with resources. So in some ways, it's a good sign that we're busier. But uh, like I said, financially, it's overwhelming us. So what are the options? Well, uh, you know, I, I told my board and I, I said to the newspaper when they asked, um, decreasing staff just isn't an option. We did that before. Um, there's just no one to lay off without really jeopardizing services. We're open 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, and um, we had 13.8 staff over the last three years. So, I mean, that's FTE, not staff, right. full-time equivalent. Right. So, you know, that's already bare bones. The only person I told the board that really, uh, you know, we can let go and not directly impact victim services is me. Right. Now, I'm not you know, happy about that option. <laughs> and in the long term, uh, it's a short term solution because it solves an immediate cash flow issue. But long term, our grant requires us to do the things that I do, right. the outreach, the education, working on protocols for the community, sort of that systems change work. So in the long term, uh, we will lose that grant funding. But in the short term, it solves a short term cash flow issue. So what we really need is a hero to step up uh, or heroes. We really need 70000 to kind of stop the bleeding and get us back on a level playing field. Wow. So um, how do you see this potentially coming to pass? Is this going to be <clears throat> a grassroots response uh, that's overwhelming, or is this going to be a big dollar amount from somewhere? Well, I, what we're seeing so far is over the weekend we got about $1,600 in online donations. Uh, and what that is is the grassroots. It's the people that already support us saying, sure. here's an extra $20, here's an extra $50. 
uh, instead of writing you a $50 check, I'm going to pledge $10 a month, and that, you know, doubles my donation. Which is possible, by the way. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, um, you know, and we just love our supporters and our donors, and this community supports us, but that's not going to get us to the 70000 mm-hmm. What we really need is someone to come in and say, I, I, can, I can do this, a, a corporation, a, a foundation, um, some, a, a donor with some means that can say, you know, I've not done this before, but let me write you a big check and, and get you on a level playing field so that you can move forward and do the work. Is it your sense that that possibility is out there and coming? Um, I hope so. I, I don't know. I, I would love to be out of work, but I'd love to be out of work because our work is done, mm-hmm. um, not, not because we don't have the money to do it. Right. All right. So somebody's listening now and they want to get in touch and help. How do they Safeplaceshelter.org. How to donate is all on there. All the things that you can do to support us is right on our webpage. Or you can call us at 965-7233. So 965-SAFE and ask how you can help. And like I said, the response has been overwhelming from the community, uh, from the, you know, the citizens that say, I know this happened to my sister. I saw this growing up. I've got a friend who's going through it. What can I do to help? Here's an extra, you know, twenty, fifty, hundred dollars. So we just so appreciate and feel that and um, know what a sacrifice it is for those people to give that extra. Mm-hmm. So um, you know it, that has been overwhelming, but uh, you know, sixteen hundred dollars isn't going to get us to seventy. Uh, you know, so we really need and w- would love a hero to step up and say. I know you're important to the community. I'm a community uh, company. I'm a community uh, organization. And I don't want to see Battle Creek or Calhoun County without Safe Place. All right. Uh, let's stay in touch on this, shall we? Absolutely. Jennifer Fatma, Safe Place. We'll, uh, we'll be in touch soon. Thank you. Thanks for coming today.